Hey guys, what's good? It's me, Jay Lee. You're watching Jay Lee Sees, and today, Jay Lee Sees Lost, Season 1, Episode 18. Hey, hey, how's it coming? It's coming. As long as nobody sabotages this one as well, huh? I got people standing guard 24-7. Oh. Nobody gets near this with or without intent to burn. Hopefully your kid ain't someone standing guard. We could use something to send out a distress call to any ship that might be close. Like an SOS. Didn't say you'd see that crazy French chick had batteries? You yeah. really think that she would give up something she needs for survival to a total stranger? All I'm asking is for you to tell me how to find her. That's it. Can we not just go into the wilderness and be like... Danielle, where is your girl? Look, I don't even know what these papers mean. For all I know, they could be the ravings of her disturbed mind. Song lyrics mixed with equations. Shannon translated it. It means dark territory. Does that sound like a place you'd like to visit? No, I would not. But I need to know what is inhabiting this island that I am inhabiting. Do you find another box? There must be something in the box. 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. Sure. When you cut the Momentum, I'm just checking something out. I hope you're not watching those G-string mujeres again. Ah, oh, we're gonna get some backstory into Mr. Hurley. Look at you. It's Saturday night. A grown-up man sitting at home watching TV. I feel very attacked. With mega number 42. And that makes tonight's Mega Lotto jackpot drawing four, eight, fifteen, sixteen, 16, and oh! 23 with the Mega number 42. Oh my god, you are the most unluckiest lucky son of a bitch I ever did meet in my life. Oh my days, how much did he win? Also, how much did he left behind by being stranded on an island? And then also, why are these numbers appeared on the island? That should have been my main question, really. You guys have been trying to figure out some of this stuff, and I was wondering what, you know, you guys figured out about this stuff. Not a whole lot, to be fair. Can you help us out? When you first found her, the French chick, you said you saw a wire or something on the beach. Why are you suddenly so interested in Rousseau? I'm not. Just... You know, making conversation, dude. Why does she have his winning lottery numbers down on her piece of paper? That is not a coincidence. I refuse to believe that. Yeah, you. How'd you come up with the winning numbers? Any significance? Oh, uh, they just, uh, sort of came okay, to me. Uh, why don't you... This is why I was on TV. This guy. This is the greatest guy I you know. My, my, my grandpa, Tito. He's, uh, he's worked three jobs for... How's it been, Abuelito? 52 years. Oh my days, you're gonna enjoy retirement because you get all of your grandson's money because he ain't gonna be there to spend it. So the first thing I'm gonna do with the money is uh, finally give him the rest that he's earned. Well, this way I can make it up to him. You know, maybe even buy my mom a new house. And uh, maybe after uh, my grandpa comes. Oh no, I feel like your grandpa's about to die. Oh my days. Grandpa? Oh my god, those lucky numbers are even more unlucky than I initially thought. Claire. You got a second? Uh, yeah, sure. I was wondering if you were free to help me with a little project. Me? Yeah. I'm building something I could use an extra pair of hands. I'm nearly nine months pregnant. I, can... I was going to say, you could probably find a better person than her. Where's what? The map. I told you it won't help you find oh, her. So now, I don't have the map. What makes this worse is that you won't even do your own dirty work. You get Hurley to do it for you. Wait a minute. Hurley. I think Hurley might have his own agenda. I don't know anything about this thing. No, but I want to. Um, a couple of hours ago, I was sent out for a walk. Where are you taking me? You know very well I don't like surprises. Oh, you're gonna like this one, Ma. I mean, after everything you've been through, mm. like Grandpa. You're loading in La Gloria. Oh, no, he actually did die. Mm -hmm. While the Aguilar getting struck by lightning, man, it was a freak storm. And Diego moving back home after Lisa left him for that waitress. You know, 
ever since I won the lottery, it's like we've had nothing but bad luck. Oh my god! And long may it continue. Yeah, apparently, the money's cursed. Or something. The money, the numbers are cursed. The money is cursed. Everything is cursed. The island that you're gonna live on is gonna be cursed too. Oh no, you didn't. Oh, hurly babes, I don't mind grieving you in this house. Take off your blind, fool. Oh. Oh, watch her get shot up in there. Oh, I was going to say, something's going to happen. I thought she was going to get shot by gang members thinking that she was a member of the Bloods. Hugo, do I smell some oak? Oh, crap. Hang on, Ma, I got to call 911. Whoa! I broke my ankle! How is there a fire already? We haven't even entered the premises. <laughs> Drop the phone, move away from what? the vehicle! Oh, no, 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 it's the house! This is Do it now! Turn around! Do you not know who I am? I'm the local celebrity. I just want shitloads of money. Yo! French chick! Uh. What are you expecting her to do? Pop out of the bush and be like, Bonjour. Which reminds me. Your sneaker factory in Canada? I own a sneaker factory in Canada. Well, not anymore. It was destroyed in a fire last month. Something, people died. But the good news is we overinsured it. It's going to yield you a windfall of cash. And when we add in the generous settlement from the LAPD for your false arrest, you've almost doubled your net worth in a few short months. Oh, no. More money, more problems, more curses. Where'd you get them anyway? What? The winning numbers, what'd you use? Somebody's birthday. Phone number. No, it's nothing. It's just something that I... It just came to you once upon a time in a French dream in Paris. It's not the money, it's the numbers. The numbers are cursed. I think you might be right. Come on, you go listen to yourself. The numbers are cursed. You know there is no such thing as a... Honey, I think so. I might have tripped over. He's never going to speak to me again. He just needs time. And that's all you got here. When the raft sails, do you think he's going to leave with them? Well, I don't think he was taking all this time to build it for an art project, babes. Well, that's slightly out of the ordinary. Oh. Don't move! Oh! You're standing on a pressure trigger. Oh my days. take your weight off it, it will release that. What the fuck? Everybody, just calm down. I can't, I'm scared. I can make it. Hurley, don't move! No. I can get out of the way, I'm spry. Oi! Hurley, stay Oi. put! No way! Hurley. Hurry, don't even oh, oh, oh. oh, he did make it. Why are you so disobedient now? What are you doing out here, man? I came to get a battery. You guys coming? You all want to go? Fine. But perhaps I should take the lead. Boys trip, let's go. When they eventually do bump into Danielle, if they do, they're going to be like, Oh my god, hello Sausage Fest. What do I owe this pleasure? Hey, Lenny. Remember me? Look, Lenny, I gotta know. What do the numbers mean? Oh my god, oh, the plot thickens. Is that why you're here, Lenny? It's because of the numbers? Did they do something to you? Lenny, were you stuck on an island for a little while as well? Ever since I won the lottery with those numbers. You use those numbers to play the lottery? Oh my god, were we not supposed to? Uh, were we meant to phone them instead? Shouldn't have done that. You've opened the box! I what? Uh, you shouldn't have used those numbers! Why not? It doesn't stop! You gotta get away from those numbers! You gotta get far, far right, away! Lady, the numbers, where'd you get them? Send to me! 
He heard them. Who sent them? He heard them in Kalgoorlie. Where's Kalgoorlie? In the town. Where we used to work. Where? Where? In Australia. What? My man went from mumbling mumble jumbo to being the most co coherent, yet still mumbo jumbo kind of person I ever did meet in my life. Whoa. There's no way she could have built this all by herself. No, but that team could have. Or Ethan's team. Hurley, what are you doing? Relax, I'm just gonna check it out. You guys should stay here. Hurley, get back here. Dudes, chill. What is on the other side of this poorly constructed rickety bridge? Oh, I feel like we might have entered into a territory where we are not invited. <gasps> oh my god, no! I was literally starting to relax then, thinking, oh yeah, that bridge seems sturdy. Oh my god. I'm okay. Whoa. I'm not okay. I am shaking like a shitting dog. Hi, is this Sam Toomey's house? It is. I'm his wife. Oh my god, your husband gave me a voodoo curse? Sam's been dead for four years. Then I'm going to have to pick your brains, babes. You're talking big the numbers. Yes, the numbers, exactly. Do you know anything about them? How many people know about these numbers? Stationed at a listening post monitoring long wave transmissions out of the Pacific. One night, about 16 years ago, there's something in the static. <gasps> oh my god. A voice comes through. A French one? A voice repeating those numbers. A couple of days later, we're at the fair in Calgary and some Wally there's got this jar. It's filled to the rim with beans. Phil is offering 50 grand to anyone able to guess how many beans are in that jar. Sam used the numbers. Yep. The answer was exact to the bean. Oh my god. So we won the money. On the way home, a pickup truck blows a tire on the highway. It's us head on. Lost my leg that night. Oh my days. These numbers are cursed. He was never the same after that. He started keeping a record. Anything terrible that happened to anyone around us, he believed it was all because he used those numbers. He moved us out here in the middle of nowhere, hoping it would stop. Did it? He put a shotgun in his mouth and pulled the trigger. Oh, Maddies. I think I'm under the same curse. Curse? There's no curse. Sounds like there might be a curse. You make your own luck, Mr. Reyes. I do agree with that. Don't blame it on the damn numbers. But... You're looking for an excuse that doesn't exist. Listen, let's say these numbers aren't cursed, yeah? Bitch, they obviously are. They are, at least they are some kind of beacon signal thing. Because if they... This island gave out the numbers... And then those numbers brought Hurley to the island. Oh, my days. That is not a coincidence. None of it is. What? This is familiar. This area. Look close. Too close? How do you know? Not close enough. Jack! Oh, we're going down today. Oh, my days. The hell was that? Why would you set a trap like 10 foot away from the trigger? Very counterproductive if you ask me. Hell of a security system. Oh, wait Somebody there. trips a wire and the whole place blows up. Oh my days. There's nothing here. The batteries? Nothing. She knew that one day I'd come back and bring others. So she abandoned this place. Booby trapped it. Mm-hmm. And moved on. Yeah, it seems like a rational idea to be fair. We're lost out here. Jack and Zane could be hurt if not blown to bits, all because you're acting like some bloody nutter. Oh my god. I am not crazy. I think the numbers make everyone who comes in contact with them crazy. About a year ago? <laughs> we should investigate. 
hold that story a second because I already know the details. And run for your lives! Oh my days! Be the French chick. We was looking for you! Saeed? That guy you tortured? <laughs> he... Uh... We're on the plane. Yeah, I was. Thanks to you. Please, tell me why you wrote this. What do these numbers mean, please? I don't know. Oh no! Is that not the reason you yourself are trapped on the island? You don't know? Okay. Well, guess what? Now, I want some friggin' answers! Oh, don't take it personally, love. I think he's just projecting. Our ship picked up a transmission. Uh -huh. A voice repeating those numbers. Oh my god! Uh, course to investigate. I need to write down these numbers so I'll never use them in my life. It was weeks before we found the radio tower. There's a radio tower on this island? Yes. Up by the Black Rock. This bloody black rock. But the numbers. Did you ever find out anything about them? Do you know where they got their power? Power. They have power, girl. The numbers. They're cursed. Yeah, they is. They really numbers are what brought me here. Oh! Since that time, I've lost everything. Yeah. Everyone I cared about. Maybe that's the island's postcode. I suppose you're right. They are cursed. Thank you. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for someone to agree with me. Yeah, you isn't crazy. You're just as sane as she is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You need a battery? Oh! She says, hey. Oh my god, really? Just like that? Just casually, yeah, is that true? I made good friends with her, we bonded over trauma. I mean, she does actually kind of owe him because if it weren't for her, then his laugh wouldn't be so shit. You think of a name yet? Huh? For the baby. I haven't really thought about it. It's my birthday today. Happy birthday, Henny. At least your birthdays will be close together, you and your baby, and that's good luck. Yeah? You think? Yeah, I do. Is it good luck? You believe in that? Luck? Me and my mum's birthday are one day apart, and I don't know how lucky I am. I mean, I'm not like, you know, lottery numbers unlucky, but I'm not lottery numbers lucky either. It's a cradle. Bitch, that is the most sweetest thing I ever did. Happy birthday, Claire. Oh, look! Thank you. You, mate, you play with my emotions. One minute I'm scared of ya, the next I'm confused by ya, the next I'm in love with ya. I just can't cope. Whiplash. I think the plane crash might have been my fault. Don't be gaffed. How could you possibly... Hey, before we came here, a lot of bad stuff used to happen whenever I was around. Yeah, but a lot of weird stuff happened to a lot of people around here. Planes crash. People die. Dude, you really gotta let me finish. You think you're the only person with baggage? I was such a junkie, I couldn't even take a plane ride without having a fix. I suppose that was your fault as well. Um, so you asked me a question and turned it around and made it all about you, Charlie. So how about it? What? I just told you the biggest secret in my life. Thought you'd want to reciprocate. Well, he would have if you didn't interrupt him. I'm worth $156 million. And it don't mean nothing. I bear my soul, and all I get is bloody jokes. <laughs> well, I believe you early. Oh, 
Oh my god, these numbers! Oh my god. 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. Oh my god, I've never used these numbers in my life. Alright guys, that episode is done and dusted, let's talk about it, and I had a really, really fun time this episode, this show is so clever. So, we were dealing with some numbers today, and not just any numbers, we are talking cursed numbers, that if anyone has these numbers in their life, bad shit is going to happen to them. It happened to some man who ended up going crazy and killing himself. It happened to another man who ended up crazy and ended up in a psychiatric hospital. And it happened to another man who ended up in an island. And back in the day, it might have happened to a woman who ended up on an island. And I've just written these numbers down on my hand. I hope my hand don't fall off. So once is an incident, two is a coincidence, and three is a pattern. I am 100% convinced that these numbers are cursed. And it all links back to the island somehow. Do I know how? Of course I do not know how, but I need to know. We need to go back and talk to Russo. Is it Russo? I'd just call her Danielle. Because, and Hurley needs to be the one to do it because they have formed a connection, I guess. You know, when a particular set of numbers um, destroys everything in your life, when you have that shit in common, it kind of creates some kind of connection. Because she was feeling him and he was feeling her literally because they started arguing each other. And the next thing you know, Hurley gets the battery. So if he's able to get the battery from her, maybe he can get some more information. Because obviously she knows a lot of shit about this island. She's been stuck here for 16 years. Talking of 16 years, when is Claire going to have this baby? I feel like she's been pregnant for 16 years. The day that Charlie pretended almost died, she was about to go into labour. And that was like three weeks ago. And we're nearing the end of season one. So I'm sure there's a lot more about to happen and a lot more plot that's going to be dumped on us. And if it continues the way that this is being presented to me, how it's been written with things occurring on the island and things from the flashbacks from when before the island manifesting and making sense into how they got onto the island and little random people in other people's lives that kind of instigated these people being on a plane that ended up on the island. I forgot where I was going with that, but it's amazing writing. And if it continues down that path, then that is going to make for some very exciting viewing. So if you want to be with me while I view it and you ain't done so already, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Down in the comment sections, I want to know your thoughts and opinions on luck. Do you believe in it? Would you consider yourself unlucky? Do you think it's a mental state? Kind of like the law of attraction? Whatever your thoughts and opinions, let me know down below. And until next time, guys. Stay safe out there. I'm scared.